Hey everybody, it's John from John Anthony Lifestyle. And by the way, for those of you that email me saying, hey Anthony, hey Anthony, it's like more people are calling me Anthony than John. The name is John. Anthony is supposed to be the last name. So, just wanted to clear that up. I also am rocking a uh, trimmed set of facial hair, hair here. If you look at the uh, the Maxim, like top 100 sexiest dudes in the world, and the other top 100 charts, normally most of the dudes have scruff and they have sideburns. I just like this look anyways. But it's women like find that like rugged and, and sexy and all that shit. I think I went a little bit too short. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Trim it to that length, getting a haircut tomorrow. But something to consider to improve your image. All right, so today's video, uh, before we continue, please like and subscribe if you have not below. Um, make sure you press the bell button. That'll alert you to the new videos uh, Sunday through Thursday, five days a week. So... Um, this video is going to be about how to strengthen and optimize the connection you have with friends, family, girlfriend, boyfriend, spouses, coworkers, whatever type the relationship is. I read a whole book and I've, I've seen a lot of different sets of experiences and data and I know how to keep those relationships strong and maximize those experiences. And the reason why I thought to make this video is I've been wanting to make that video for a while, but I got one of my fuck buddies sent this little thing over text today. So I'm just going to read this and this kind of leads into the whole thing. So she said, and that she didn't write this. This is just like her uh, forwarding it along. So it says, you are holding a cup of coffee when someone comes along and bumps into you, making you spill your coffee everywhere. Why did you spill the coffee? You spilled the coffee because there was coffee in your cup. Had there been tea in the cup, you would have spilled tea instead. The point is, whatever is inside the cup is what will spill out. Therefore, when life comes along and shakes you, which will happen, whatever is inside you will come out. It's easy to fake it until you get rattled. So we have to ask ourselves, what's in my cup? When life gets tough, what spills out? Joy, gratefulness, peace, and humility? Or does anger, bitterness, harsh words, and reactions come out? You choose. Today, let's work towards filling our cups with gratitude, forgiveness, joy, words of affirmation, kindness, gentleness and love for others okay so this is kind of like woo woo cheese mode here <laughs> gotta throw in a motherfucker to balance it out now like this video is gonna be kind of a little bit like feel good type shit but it's it's kind of important stuff to to cover here um so this kind of ties into i was working with this um really accomplished bioresonance doctor and i would go into a separate video on the benefits of bioresonance, but basically it's, it scans your entire groups of your body and your groups of cells. It cross references against a database of hundreds of thousands of records. It can tell you what, you know, what's going on with fungus, bacteria, viruses, parasites, disease, etc. in your body. So you can fully optimize things. Um, so this woman sent to me actually recently, uh, the chakras, or chakras, however you say it, it's the energy pathways in your body. Again, this is sounds woo-woo, but it's empirically backed, scientifically supported. Um, science, or Chinese and Indian medicine focus on these. So here's the positive chakras, and I'll put these on the screen. Uh, freedom, inspiration, divinity, love, strength, joy, abundance, forgiveness, trust, care, help, selflessness, empowerment, honor, compassion, nobility, invincibility it's kind of a funny last one and then the, <laughs> the negative ones are anger frustration judgment control issues uh self-importance excess guilt sadness fear depression shame unworthiness suffering pain overly lustful wanting to be seen by others as desirable okay now how does this apply to you guys a lot of guys in the in the pickup community or they're, or they're trying to get better with women with seduction and, and dating and improve their their love life and their sex life are have, have a very negative self image of themselves okay they feel like it says here unworthiness they want others to accept them they want to fit in they want to be desirable to others okay they feel angry and frustrated they don't they, you know they feel women are are judging them okay which stems from fear and from sadness okay so by making a conscious effort to keep things kind of positive like that's going to reflect in how you interact with women. Okay, so when, when you're interacting with a woman and you don't see yourself as desirable, I tell my clients, if, imagine you went into a car dealership and the, and the car salesman was like, hey, look, we have this car over here and it's rusted and it, the parts are broken and it's kind of a piece of shit. And uh, 
you know, it barely runs and et cetera, et cetera. Like, do you want to buy it? The person's going to be like, fuck no, right? And this is what a lot of you are presenting when you go up to a stranger to talk to them. You are so convinced that your value is low or you're so convinced that you're not good enough or that it's going to go poorly or that, you know, you're going to feel stupid and, and it's going to confirm things once she rejects you. Rather than coming from a positive place, seeing rejections and, you know, negative reactions is part of the game. I've talked about that in other videos, how you should just expect, you know, I, I put in the video, you can't win them all on my YouTube. You can't expect every girl to like you, right? A lot of them won't. And that's fine. That doesn't, you need to have your own centeredness and your own value realized as a man on your own. Okay. Now, how does this tie into your relationships? Okay. And, and I'm not just talking about your boyfriend, girlfriend, monogamous relationships, I'm talking about between family members, between coworkers, between, um, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, uh, whatever it may be, friends. Okay. I read a book called The Relationship Cure by John Gottman. And I'll put a link to that. I'm not in any way affiliated with this book. I just thought they had a lot of good ideas. And what this guy did was he had a team of researchers that studied relationships of all those sorts I just mentioned between different people. And it was 20 years of empirical research. Okay. And they took in a whole bunch of data and they looked at what, what is common between all the ones that are doing well and what is common between all the ones that are eroding and falling apart and, and destructing and, and ending. And what he found was very interesting. Okay. What he found, da -da 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 -da, in the drum roll here, um, there's people have bids for connection as you refers to them. Now I sound like fucking RST Julian with his book reviews. <laughs> woo woo plus book review time. But no, this is, this is actually very valuable. This can starting like immediately transform a lot of your relationships for the positive in your life. So what he found was people put out bids for connection. They can be verbal and they can be nonverbal. Verbal obviously is words, the tone of your voice, your inflection, etc. The nonverbal stuff can be your body language. Um, you know, facial expressions, all those things. So the three categories that he identified are you can turn towards, against, or away. Okay, so turning towards is anything of the positive nature, smiling at the person, being encouraging, congratulating someone on an accomplishment, being genuinely interested in what they have to say, okay, being present, like giving them your attention, um, asking for to hear more about something that's important to them, okay, asking genuinely how things are going or, or trying to help them with their problems in a genuine way. What is against? Against is classified as sarcasm, okay, yelling, insulting, um, you know, anything that's like of negative, like scowling at someone, giving someone dirty looks, you know, discouraging people, um, shooting down stuff they said just to be mean, etc. So anything that falls in that negative category of pushing against someone, and then you have the third category, which he identifies and calls away, turning away. This is when someone is kind of like not really paying attention to what you said, um, or they're ignoring, you know, they're ignoring you to some capacity, or they, someone tells you something and you're just like, oh, and you just kind of move on to your own topic. You don't really give a shit, um, you know, avoidance, any kind of verbal and nonverbal things that, that are turning away. Okay. Now what he found was the strongest relationships, the strongest, um, you know, parent sibling relationships, the strongling sibling to sibling, coworker to coworker, coworker to boss, um, you know, best friend to best friend, you know, friend to acquaintance, boyfriend to girlfriend, spouse to spouse, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, any, any type. Okay. Even with people that you interact with, the, you know, around your neighborhood or whatever it may be, he found the strongest ones were the ones where people most consistently turned towards. Okay. And he found the, the, the ones that eroded and got weaker and were shittier friendships, shittier marriages, eventually destructed were the ones where people were habitually turning away and against. Okay. Very simple concept, but very powerful. So tying it back into these uh, chakras here, freedom, inspiration, divinity, love, strength, joy, abundance, forgiveness, trust, care, help, selflessness, empowerment, honor, compassion, nobility, invincibility. Okay. Versus those are all positive turning towards things versus anger, frustration, judgment, control issues, self-importance, excess guilt, sadness, fear, depression, shame, unworthiness, suffering, pain, overly lustful, wanting to be seen by others as desirable. So make a conscious effort. And, and by the way, that, like, you could literally do an inventory all around 
the people in your life right now and you could see like you could basically look at the strength of the connection you have with that person and then you can correlate it in most cases to okay that's because me and that person typically turn against or I'm against and he's away or maybe I turn I try to turn towards but they're always turning against um, like my parents for example they're both very loving people very nice people very um, you know religious and moral and, and respectable and you know they're great people but when they're interacting with each other my mom you know I'm just sharing this this private aspect here my mom traditionally tends to raise her voice, go from zero to 100 really quick, be very snappy, have like almost no threshold for tolerance in terms of immediately getting into a confrontation. That's the other big one. She's very confrontational. She's always like, rah, 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 like very intense, right? And I experienced that as a child. She was always turning against to me, and that it, it was in the form of a lot of verbal abuse. Okay, so that's to an extreme example. And we've since reconciled with my father, you know, just taking this verbal onslaught and bashing all the time kind of turtles up and so he'll do avoidance things he will you know shut down he's doing the classical away stuff and they kind of it's like a feedback loop right my mom is like intense makes him turn away makes him be withdrawn makes him you know kind of suppress his emotions and then my mom gets upset that he's being like that and she'll be even more turning against and it's a very very simple concept but if, if you guys um apply this with all the different you know things you have in your life, you're gonna be happier, you're gonna have better relationships, you know, with the girl, you know, being back to pick up, you're gonna have better relationships with the girls that you're seeing on your rotation or with your girlfriend. Okay, but this can improve things in the, in your family life and in your, your work life and in your social life as well. Okay, and it's just gonna make things a lot more happier for you, okay, and a lot more fulfilling and everything will just be more positive overall. So that's all I really wanted to share. I will be putting in the link to that book in case you want to check it out in the description. Uh, just a reminder, we have the Occam's Razor 69.95 sale uh, continuing this week because some people were saying they don't get paid until Friday. The previous three videos talk about the details of that and testimonials if you're interested in that. And make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. And we're probably going to be hitting a pretty heavy, heavy roast this week. I need to, to get that in order. So thank you guys. Take care and uh, go forth, love, prosper, <laughs> prosper and be invincible. <laughs> okay, take care.